How's it going, folks? Well, finished welding the seam of this and went ahead and put my filler on it. I don't think that filler is what it was advertised as being because it just ain't right. I haven't done any sanding on it yet. I just did finish up the second coat of filler trying to get it uh, to try and shape like the fender is um, on the original trucks. Um, I got that done. That actually came out really, really well. Got it welded all the way around. Put the body filler on it. Shouldn't be much of nothing to sanding it. And what I've determined I'm gonna do, because the exhaust pipes that were on that truck are just crap. I don't know who welded them or with what, but there was only like a, a half inch piece of metal that was actually hanging on, holding that pipe on there in the first place. And both of these big monster tips that were on it are rusted and got holes in them. Um, what they did was took the, replaced the catalytic converter and then put a little Y pipe on it and ran duals back off of it, dual exhaust. Well, that's not how I'm going to have it running. I'm going to put a genuine muffler on it and make it have it run right with that. But what I'm once I'm done with the with this side, of course I've still got to get the uh the metal for the rocker there. But once I'm done with this side, what I'm going to do is take the bed off and flip it around and just set it right back down where it is. Um, there's six bolts that actually hold this bed on and I think either two or four in the bed itself which I'm gonna have to hide uh, transfer this junk somewhere and when I flip the bed around I'm also gonna cut that cab corner the rest of the way off on the other side and we'll get it all put back together that way um, and in the meantime I've got to find a cherry picker so I can get this motor out of this thing I've got the mounts loose. I'm gonna have to bust the exhaust bolts out of it. The bolts that hold the muffler to the manifold itself, they're rusted fast. So I'm gonna have to either air hammer them out or cut them or something. But once those are loose, then I gotta unhook the transmission and pick this whole stinking motor up out of the inside here i might as well take all these accessories off because they're all going to have to come off anyway i'm replacing the crank in the bottom and my neighbor gave me a little boost and told me to while i'm at it go ahead and replace the timing gear and the uh, timing chain itself so i'm going to do that as well but that's pretty much it i'm going to take all the stuff off the front of this including the vibration damper and the main drive pulley. And then I should be able to, if I can find a cherry picker, go ahead and snatch this thing out. I'm gonna have to take it loose from the transmission still too. But once I do that, it's, it's free. All I gotta do is just snatch it right out. And uh, then we'll put the, put the thing on the engine stand and flip it over, put the new uh, crank and timing gear and timing and chain on it make sure I put it all back together with good assembly lube and then I'm gonna put a high volume oil pump since it's a high mileage motor put it all back together get me some new injectors that I messed up and because I can get them for like $24 so it's not a major deal get those put on it now I should be good to go of course I am going to blow the motor out while I've got uh, while I've got it completely apart because I don't know what of the metal has gotten up into the um, the oil path so I'm gonna blow all that out while I've got the engine out but basically that's where I'm at with this one um, haven't done anything more on this side yet it's still basically the way it was when I showed you the other day still got to cut that off which I'm gonna do when I take this bed loose and flip it around and then we'll be all set 
the welder won't reach over here so I'm not even bothering trying but that's my solution just to flip the bed around and finish cutting this off and get the metal for the rockers I'm not as worried as uh, about the uh, the body work as I am getting the engine running because if I got the engine running I can move the truck around however I need to to get the body work done right now I can't so this is gonna be my next plan of attack got to get the find out what the timing chain cover and uh, timing gear or timing chain cover geez find out what the timing chain and timing gear are gonna cost me and go from there but that's pretty much where we're at and I'll have me a nice little romping vehicle once I get it all done. But just kind of wanted to show the progress of getting it dried in at least to where I don't have to worry about it rusting again. And what I'll do is come out here tomorrow and put a good sanding on it and then hit it with primer. I don't think it's going to rust overnight. Of course it could, there's always that chance, but don't think it's going to. Um, but I'll sand it down real good tomorrow when I when it's dry during the day and I've still got a shape in a lip like the lip on this see how it's got a little lip around the edge of the wheel I've got to shape that into it because that's what was rusted that's what I cut out but that shouldn't be too awful hard to do either uh, it's probably going to require me building it up a little bit more right here and back well now I built that up so just right here I'm gonna have to build it up a little bit more so that I can shape that lip into it still and then I should be good to go but that's it uh, thank you for watching and you guys have a great night